Welcome to the Cedra Smith uh, MOSFET uh, small signal analysis. Uh, this is for the gate, uh, common gate. So I'm going to show how to derive the voltage gain of the common gate. Uh, basically, the gain is going to be real close to the gain of a common source. Okay. Uh, there is a difference in that in a common source you have inversion, phase inversion. While on the common drain there's no inversion. So in this case, in this topology you get no phase inversion. In other words, everything's in phase. Okay. So it's very, very similar. Okay. Uh, what I did here, I put a little voltage source here to give it a bias. Basically, you need uh, a MOSFET will have a threshold voltage anywhere from one to maybe three volts. Okay and the gate has to be more positive than the source so if I had grounded this to ground like this that means that this voltage had to add a bias voltage it would have to be a negative voltage to in order to uh, bias it properly so instead I choose to just draw a voltage source at the gate and that should bias it okay provided that the source is it's, uh, uh, biased correctly as well but anyway but uh, in the small signal ana analysis that shorts to ground and this goes to ground too okay so let's go ahead and uh, do the model. So draw our EN. Okay. We're going to have RG. Okay. And then uh, remember in one of the previous, uh, I believe it's two videos prior to this one, there is one where I derive. Impedances. Okay, and there was one where I was looking at the impedance, looking into the source. Okay, and in that video where I derived the impedances, if you look into the source, you should always think of this that it's going to be one over GM. So looking into the source is the same as, or you can think of it in here that it's a resistor that's 1 GM, kind of like this. Let's see if we can break. Well, okay. In other words, that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, but that's actually looking into the source okay so with that in mind let's go ahead and uh, go ahead uh, and put that in there so as I said before looking in here the impedance looking in there is equivalent to a 1 over GM let me make some room here actually let me move this a little bit down get a little bit of separation okay so let me bring that back so we have that so this node should be the source 
Okay. And in the source, you'll have a. Let me bring that out like this. You have a V, G S, and the source is the negative. And I'll draw this as a gate. And the gate connects to ground. Okay. And then here's your dependent current source. It's a GM plus times v, uh, VGS. And then we have Sorry, you have uh, RD and VDD is supposed to be grounded, and we can assume that this is a short. So basically, you're going to have a RD, and then you're going to have a RL in parallel. Okay, so let me go ahead and label this a little bit better. So this is the source, this is the drain, this is the gate. Okay, and it's plus negative. Okay. So again I use the same technique. The same technique over and over again. Basically define VGS. Okay. Again, VGS is really VG. It's a differential voltage from the gate to the source. Okay. So by inspection, we can see this is uh, VG is right there. VG, VS. VD. So let's start with this. VG is connected to ground, so that goes to zero. Okay. So now we just need VS, and we can look that it forms a a uh, voltage divider. Okay. So you have VN. Divided by GM times the sum of all the resistance in that path. Okay, so now we put it together. VGS is equal, and because, well, you have a negative here, so you end up with a negative VN one over GM. RG plus 1 GM. Okay, so we have a VGS defined. Okay, and let me see where are we getting the output? Oh, the output is at the drain. Okay, so that's where it's coming. The gate is coming to both the input and the output, so it's a coming drain. So this is VD is actually also V out. Okay, so this current is flowing in this direction, and what we can do is we can simplify this. Just put one resistor, and just say that uh, that resistor is actually uh, RD in parallel with RL. There you go. Okay, so current is flowing in this direction, supposedly. Okay, and that would be uh, GMV VGS. So we can say that. Let me go back to green. Okay, and in this case, it would be plus negative. So you're gonna have a negative voltage. <laughs> Excuse me. So you would have. Uh, uh, GM, VGS, 
find the parallel resistance RD parallel with R L okay so now basically there all we have to do is plug that in there okay now mind you there's a negative here and we have a negative here so the the negatives cancel so we should have a GM RD RL and we'll put the one GM RG plus R GM and the VN goes to the other side and in and that's our voltage gain. So, pretty simple. Right? Not too much derivation. It's just uh, making sure that you define your VGS and then write an equation for the output that involves the V out and then VGS. And then once you define VGS, you plug it into the V out equation and you're, and you're done. Okay. Hopefully, this uh, will help you. And uh, deriving uh, equations, uh, small signal analysis. Thank you for watching.